Hello, a new day and we have a new device on my bench, a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, something like that. And um, the device came in with, I think it was no picture. Yeah, it powers on, the light comes on and that's it. We have LEDs here. Hmm, caps lock is working. That's interesting. We have a no display issue. We have a no display issue. Mm. External keyboard. So simple this time. Internal is working. External. No. 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 Here. Huh? Issue with the USB port. No, it's working. Numlock. Maybe a small issue with the USB port, but the LEDs are working. So, yeah, it actually does the post, but we have no picture on the screen here. Let's check with a flashlight. Whether there is something to notice. But actually I can't see anything. Usually it is just no backlight, but here I even can't notice the picture. No. Uh, do we have external connectors? We have HDMI. Reboot. Yeah, picture on the screen. Okay, so uh, we have an issue with the with the panel. Hmm. Okay, okay. And how can we troubleshoot that? Hmm. I have no idea. Okay. Okay, display test passed. Hmm, do we have a faulty display here? Can be. So let's power down. Let's have a look, I would say. Let's have a look. Finally, something simple. <laughs> At least simple to diagnose. Whether it is simple to to repair, well, this is another story. Okay, and now okay.
let's unplug the battery unplugged and now inspect the connector we have basically two cables here and here and this one should be for the related to the display and this one camera camera cable okay good let's have a look here Let's inspect under the microscope. So, so here we have the connector and it looks pretty fine the cable looks also fine yeah so what is the issue with this one? Oh, I think I know the issue <laughs> yeah <laughs> the cable is in my hand now okay i think we found the issue because when i how was it like that yeah like that so i pulled out the cable here and i literally have it in my hand now so yeah what happened here i can't believe yeah well we have to source another cable and then it will be probably fixed however this explains why we even had um, display without backlight <laughs> just everything is missing okay yeah okay so yeah we uh, well, well there's no point to try to repair this this will we will waste hours with that so I don't even bother So what do you think? What happened to this poor cable? Hmm? We have to open this. But how? How can we open this?
So on now. It is just broken in half. It is just broken in half. Wow. So this panel is glued. No. We are lucky. Okay. So, these are our two parts of the cable, and yeah, it is literally broken <laughs> in half. Okay, I'll order the cable and then we'll see what happens. Hello. One month has passed, one month, and finally I have received my cable. <laughs> I can't believe. So what was the issue? Here was the issue. I've managed to source wrong cables over and over. So in the beginning I've ordered the uh, cable for the actual camera because uh, I've missed that somehow so uh, after that I was more attentive attentive and uh, sourced a display cable but it was not the right one because different displays are built in in this ThinkPad generation so we have uh, a connector with 40 pins at the, at the panel side and we have also also connectors with 30 pins at the connector side. I can't believe, but yeah. So, but, but basically, I can't, I can't blame anyone else except myself. So yeah, um, I've paid the price. I've paid the price with uh, time and money, and so let us uh, let us finally fix this device. So the right one was. The one with 30 pins, I mean, if I remember correct. So let's open this device again and replace the cable. can save something so back to the panel so now what is correct here our 30 pin connector here yes good fits so far so so when back inside of the case
then into this hinge here, same on this side. So, and now we can close it. Maybe we clean the display first a little bit. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I've also sourced a new microphone wireless because you know in one of my latest videos I've destroyed my old microphone because of my rolling uh, in my chair here so however I have, I have now this uh, wireless uh, transmitter and there's also a wireless receiver on the um, computer side and yeah as you can already hear it works very well uh, it is and this is no advertising uh, I've just bought it and use it now and you decide whether it is good or not good. It is a Movo WMX-1. Okay, let's see. With a nice clip and uh, yeah, it's good so far. So now let's clean the the display a little bit okay so I think we have assembled the screen with much fingerprints of myself on it now let's see whether my diagnose was correct and uh, <laughs> The cable was faulty. So let's grab the actual laptop. So what is here going on? Cannot open it. No. Crazy. Screwed itself. Assembled itself. So battery, do we want the battery plugged? I don't think so, huh? because with a plugged battery, bad things can happen, very bad things, especially when you are working on the display. So always, always remove all power when you work on a motherboard, except only accept you know exactly what you are doing and what can happen okay if not remove power okay so i remove power also because i want to stay safe you know i'm on video and i don't want to mess up here okay That. This is a pretty cool one with um, with a LTE modu module, so you can plug. Uh, So you can plug a mobile internet card here. Don't know how it is called in English. You know what I mean. And then, yeah, you can go online with this laptop without Wi-Fi, without Ethernet, internet via Ethernet. One second. Is this still nice? Yeah. Like that. One, 
two, and now the other. So now we'll plug the camera cable back. supposed to go here okay and then we have our display cable here let's see whether it fits the last two the latest two attempts it did not but this time it fits perfectly good So like that maybe? I hope so. Okay. Okay, let's plug the plug the battery back. Nothing happened so far. The thing with the cable was really really weird. I still don't understand exactly what happened, to be honest. Oh, here yeah, I'm not. No. Seems I have some screws missing for the battery. Where are my screws? Here's my screw back. Uh, I think I have. I think I have seen some of them. Here, here's one of. One of these screws. Let's plug it here. Let's screw it here, yeah. So, and then we still have one missing screw here. Where we here? I found it. Here is it. Yeah. Good. This is good. Someone uh, asked me in the comments whether I can uh, teach him online. Well, I understand the question, honestly, but sorry. I'm just doing my hobby. I, have, I don't have the time to, uh, to teach. I have a, a, main, a main job. Which... Uh, Pays my invoices and so on, and this is this is just hobby. Okay. I try to teach here and there via my uh, YouTube tutorials, but uh, I cannot replace a, a proper a learning platform because um, there is so much. I can't cover that. I simply can't cover that uh, here and there. I will share something, but um, yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Um, let's try. Let's try and see whether we get picture. I hope so. Power's on. 
Oh, I have no backlight. No backlight. So we have a motherboard issue in addition. Can you see that? Slightly, very slightly. I have the Windows logo here. Uh, before I had the, the Lenovo logo here. So we have picture, but no backlight. Well, we have checked that, of course. So let's power it down fast. Let's see ever what I can do it. Ah, simply power it. Sim we simply power it down with the button. Okay, so it is not the end of the repair. Interesting, interesting. The cable is plugged in properly. Anything getting hot here? Mm, not really, not really. Oh, I hope the display is not damaged. This would be bad. Okay, let's unscrew the battery again. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Okay, backlight. So where is it? No idea. Probably not on this side. One second. Okay, I have just uh, reviewed um, the first clip where I diagnosed the, the bad cable and uh, I want to know whether I've checked the voltages actually. Uh, but I did not. So now it's the time to check the voltages and uh, see whether we have uh, the main power rail present at the connector. Let's see. Because backlight fold is almost always either the main power rail missing at the connector or the backlight enable respectively the backlight the backlight PWM signal something wrong with so how do we do one second So switch to microscope, zoom out a bit, where, 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 here, So let's see where the main power rail, what voltages, let's see where, what voltages do we have present here. Let's remove this foil here. Okay. So, so now the cable is good. Let's plug the charger. Multimeter, voltage mode. Proper ground, 
maybe from here from here so no no bad idea let's grab from here yeah so let's see big trucks we are looking for big trucks for example here four volts four five six five weird voltage what is that nothing and here is a big track with changing values here six 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 seven six seven now but it is changing so this is already suspicious so what else let's zoom in a bit i don't see enough so this is our big truck what else here we have a big truck nothing nothing and here also nothing ah. and that's it no let's remove the board now it's time let's remove the board so So let's inspect the area on the other side together here. Let's zoom out. So we have a fuse and another fuse and another fuse. Let's check the fuses. This fuse is good. 3.3. Yeah, my probes are not good today. 3.3. Okay. So then we have another fuse here. It's good. And then we have another fuse. Is this a fuse? No. Here. Here is the fuse. Here. And this fuse is also good. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, this is a fuse from, from the main power rail. So where is the main power rail? Here's another fuse up at the top. Here? No. Huh? No way, huh? It is good. Okay. So what is the issue here? Our backlight power. Six volts. Let's go to beep mode. One probe to my big track here. One probe so one probe here let's take this probe here 
And with the other probe, we check the other side. I just don't have idea how to do it right now because of the foil. Once again, maybe now. Here. This is our main power rail, here, here. This is our main power rail. So main power rail is actually good. Come on. Okay, I have to get rid of this foil here because it is pretty annoying. Okay, what the hell? Did we assume right? PD controller circuit, so main power rail starting here somewhere. Here, no. Come on, help me a bit. Yeah, fuse 7. This is a my main power rail. Let's check F7 again. And then we check voltage there. What was that before? For false positive? See, it is not beeping. Okay, probes beep. Fuse does not. Let's go in resistance mode to prove. So one probe to ground. One probe here. I think here is main power rail good. One mega ohms and here open line. So our fuse F7 is bad and we have to replace it. Okay. I think I have another thing pad. And we'll take the fuse from there. So here we have the other board. And here we have I've checked the schematics. Here we have F7. Same, desi same designation even. And fuse is good. Yeah, my probes are simply bad instead. Okay. Good, so we'll take F7 and put it on the other board. I'm at 450 degrees and it won't come off. Why? No. Okay. Good. So back to our board.
This was faster. This was way faster. Good. So let's miss it again. And we have continuity. Okay? So what do you think? Will our bed like back backlight work now? Think so. So yes, it was a blown fuse at the main power rail. Probably simply caused by the broken cable. So we have first solved the issue and then uh, <laughs> we have solved a symptom. <laughs> Not bad, actually. Because usually the people go first uh, straight to the fuse, replace it, and then wonder why it why it blows again and again and again. Because the fuse is almost always not the issue, but simply a symptom of the issue. So if you have a blown fuse, you have most likely another faulty component to replace or something to repair however have in mind so what else what else what else <laughs> it is so annoying to assemble and disassemble this device, I can't phrase it. I can't phrase it in words. So I have not tested it outside of the chassis because I'm pretty convinced it will work. So how was this? No, like that. Yeah, okay. So battery, where is my battery here? Again, nothing burned, nothing smells, and it is cold. Let's put a let's put a few screws. Well, this was a small surprise with the burn fuse.
So, second attempt. Let's see. Power on. Let's wait a few seconds. Ah, see. Here we go. Yeah, it's, um, it seems we did the BIOS reset. Did, uh, yeah, of course, we have removed the board. So yeah, BIOS reset. But you see, Backlight is absolutely fine working. Yeah, simply reboot. Come on, let's boot. So a broken cable and a burn fuse. Was enough to let the previous owner think he has still somehow dark. Let's see whether we can. Ah, uh, now it's much better, yeah. Yeah, now it's better, okay. So this was a. Uh, surprising repair with a satisfying um, with a satisfying outcome so yeah I'm happy I would be happy if you have enjoyed the video and uh, as always thank you for watching and see you next time bye